I've got a great stretch and balance workout that's perfect for women of a certain age. Grab a chair and a yoga mat and let's go. Hey Killer Bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving with some arm circles with high knees. And yes, even before a stretching workout, we're going to do a very gentle warm up. You guys, welcome to today's very different workout. I'm Paula B, your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we talk about making peace with your menopausal body. And today, what that means is that we are taking a glorious day of active rest. And I know, I know that for some of you, myself included, <laughs> that this is way outside your comfort zone. That you are so used to pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and not necessarily taking the time for something like a beautiful stretch. This is going to be a great workout for both of us. <laughs> this is going to be a great balancing workout, as you can see, but also a chance to really pay attention to our bodies. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. This is a little bit faster than that last exercise, but still not fast. There is nothing about today that should feel like a push at all. Now, some of these stretches, the reason we are doing a warm up, some of these stretches are very static. Some of them are going to be, I don't want to use the word uncomfortable because stretching should always be right to the edge of where you feel the stretch, but nothing that pulls into, you know, something that could be uncomfortable or even injurious to you. But, but maybe even the act of stretching at all or the act of taking a rest day at all might feel uncomfortable. And I know, I know, because I kind of feel the same way. You guys, today I am, I am coming right to the limits of what I am capable of doing with my yoga practice. We are all standing today. There's absolutely no floor work. I just have the mat here for a little bit extra sticky underneath my toes to make sure that we don't fall out of any of these balance poses. There's nothing super, super balancey, but there are some, well, no, that's not true. They're not super balancey because I have a chair next to me. I will be holding on to the chair for anything that we do with balance. For my experienced yoga bees, you might not need that. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes, stretching out your chest and your abs, making sure that your shoulders are starting to feel more open, that you've gotten most of the cricks and cracks out of your toes and ankles, more or less. I always have more in there. We are going to be stretching and opening up pretty much every one of our joints today. We're working a lot on relaxing some of our upper body tension and opening up our lower body to relax and relieve tension from our hips as well. Some of these poses might be very difficult, which is why I have a chair. I'm not doing anything especially deep or super balancey. If you have experience with these poses, you can absolutely take them deeper, make them your level. Help yourself to making today feel peaceful for you. We're gonna get started with a standing cat and cow, which means that we're gonna stand with our feet just about hip width apart. We're gonna curl down, bringing your shoulders forward, really arching your back like a cat. We're breathing, we're relaxing everything that isn't working, and we're stretching along our upper and middle back. And then we're gonna pull it back, pull your hands back behind your hips. We're looking up and pushing your hip bones back, arching down like a cow. Sometimes when I look up like this, I get a little dizzy. There are some poses today that might feel like a little too much. Go ahead and come back into a cat. Finding that exact right position where you feel the stretch, but it doesn't feel like too much. It doesn't push you past your limits, but takes you right to them is exactly what we're looking for today. Being open to this experience, come back into that cow, push your hip bones back, tip your head back as far as feels comfortable, Feel that arch in your back so it's a stretch in your abs. Open up your hands out to the side. Back to cat one more time. And back to cow for the last time. 
really feel that stretch. You can feel as we move through these poses a couple of times, but each time you come into it, it feels a little bit different, maybe a little bit more flexible. Maybe you're using a different muscle in a different way. Pay attention to that. It's part of what we're doing today. Now I'm gonna to turn to the side and grab my chair here real quick so that you can see. We're coming down into a forward fold. We're gonna start from a nice standing position, standing up straight and tall. Knees are soft but strong, feet about hip width apart. You're gonna run your hands right down the fronts of your legs, keeping your back nice and straight, pushing your hips back, 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 back. As you get to a point where you feel the stretch for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands on the chair. And you're gonna keep your back straight as long as you can by keeping your core pulled in. And when you get to a point where you feel just enough stretch in your hamstrings, see if you can straighten your knees a little bit, not locking them, but straightening them a little bit more. Some of my yoga bees might be able to touch their hands on the ground. Get your hands down to your toes. That is fantastic. That is not where I am flexible. So I have my hands on the chair. We'll come up from this nice and gentle hands on your thighs. Standing up, not going past a straight standing position. We're not trying to arch back. We're just standing up straight, feeling that spine lengthen, keeping your core pulled in as we fold forward again. Breathing out, feeling your back stay straight, but relaxed because your core is pulled in. Now this time I'm gonna put my hands a little bit further forward, getting a little bit of a stretch up into my shoulders. As I find that point, and then straighten my legs. Neck is neutral. Deep stretch in the back of your legs. Breathing gently, whatever feels natural and comfortable for you. If you need to come up out of this pose before I do, please do. Today is your day. We're listening to our bodies, we're relaxing, stretching, pushing our limits a little, but not necessarily to my limit. Standing up, again, nice and straight, but not past that. Feel your glutes working as you stand back up. Nice deep breath, and then we're gonna come forward one last time. This time, as I come forward, I'm gonna grab the back of the chair getting an even deeper stretch into my shoulders. If you don't have a chair, that's totally fine. We're gonna stretch out our shoulders plenty later. This is just for my chair bees. Back is straight. See if you can straighten out those legs. Feel that deep, deep stretch. This time for me, the stretch is extended into my arms and shoulders. We're gonna stand about halfway back up, just enough to put our hands on the chair, if you have a chair. We're gonna take one foot in and then the other foot so that your feet are close together. And we're gonna take a big, big, big step back with one of your feet, doesn't matter which one. We're in a high lunge. For me, I'm scooting my foot back just a little bit. You wanna make sure that your front bent knee isn't over the top of your toes. It's directly on top of your toes. It's a straight line down to your toes, but it's not pushed forward in front of your toes. Some of my yoga bees might be able to reach up from this position. One hand or both hands. I'm gonna keep my hand on the chair. As I come up, I'm using the chair to really help me up. Breathing in this forward fold position for just a half a second. And then we're gonna take a big, big, big step back with the other foot. 
Your knee doesn't have to come down to the ground. If that's more comfortable for you, you totally can. For me, I'm staying in the high lunge position, not trying to get down any lower, really thinking about this stretch on my hip flexors, into my abs, the front of my thighs. It feels different on this side than it felt on the other side. Notice that. Notice the parts of your body that feel this stretch. Breathing down here. And then for me, using the chair to help me back up. Staying in that forward fold position for just a moment. Feel that stretch on the back of your legs. What a contrast that is to the stretch that we get on the front of our legs when we come down into that high lunge position. One more time on each side. Big step back, back, back. And sink your hips down to wherever feels comfortable. The second time through, if you'd like to, you can raise one hand or both hands. Whatever feels good to you. For me, it's a little bit squeezy on my lower back. So I like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hands low. I liked the stretch in my shoulders, but my lower back wasn't thrilled with it. You don't have to get in any position that doesn't feel good for your body. And then we stand back up, nice and strong. Stay in that forward fold position for just a moment. Flatten your back, pull in your core. Catch your breath. And then step big, step back on the second side, the final time. Nice breath. The thing about stretching is it's relaxing, but it's also work. Thinking about the work, but thinking about the stretch as well. Finding that delicate balance. We talk all the time about work-life balance. This is work-stretch balance. That's part of life. And we'll come up, up, up. Stop in that forward fold. Just briefly relax your neck in case it wasn't already. And then stand. Roll your shoulders for a second. I'm gonna face forward again. I'm gonna scoot the chair just a little bit over. We're gonna do a triangle next. And what that means is that we're gonna have our feet nice and wide, super wide, almost uncomfortably wide, feeling that stretch in your inner thigh already. Your opposite hand goes up while the same hand rolls right down the side of your leg. Now here's the thing for me, this balance gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to the chair because as we're in this triangle position, you wanna rotate your neck and look up at your hand in the ceiling. This particular position almost always gives me vertigo, which is why I have this chair here. The stretch feels amazing, but it's a little bit tricky for me. Breathing. And then look forward. Make sure that you can stand back up and up. Now, for my purposes, I'm gonna do it on the same side one more time before I switch the chair. You're welcome to go back and forth. Totally depends on what feels good for you. I'm making this convenient for myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna come down into a triangle on that same side Get to where I can get to, hand on the chair. Push your hip out, really feel that stretch on the inner thigh, and then rotate your neck and look up. Watching your fingers pointing up at the ceiling, noticing the work in your neck, the stretch in your arm and your shoulder, the stretch on your inner thigh, using your core and breathing, of course. And then I'm gonna look forward, always looking forward, <laughs> and standing back up. 
Okay, so for me, I'm gonna move my chair real quick so that I can do that exact same thing on the other side. You are welcome to bring your feet in for a quick moment. Catch your breath. And then I'm gonna spread my feet nice and wide, almost uncomfortably wide, but not too uncomfortable. Feel that stretch, feel the work in your hips. As one hand goes up, the other hand slides down. Not as far on this side for me. And then once you find a comfortable position, rotate that neck. Oh, even the neck rotation is harder on this side for me. Noticing that, noticing the difference in the different sides of your body, what feels good, what feels different, what feels like more work, more stretch, what feels just right. Breathing. And then I'm gonna look forward before I stand up. <sighs> nice deep breath. That work in your shoulders, it's a stretch, but it's work. It's okay to kind of roll it out in between. Here we go, up again, the second and final time. As you get into that position, pushing your hip out to the side, feeling the work in your inner thigh, looking up at the ceiling or wherever you can get to. That's work in your neck. When you have tension in your shoulders, this feels tough. We're not straining in any position. We're asking our body gently, nicely, kindly to stretch a little. Looking forward and standing up. Awesome job. Go ahead and bring your feet together. Take a nice deep breath with your feet about hip width apart here. I'm gonna roll my neck around one way. And then back the other. Feeling that work in my neck from looking up at the ceiling. I wanna make sure that I stretch it out just a little, rolling back the first way. And then the second way. I'm gonna turn and face my chair. Hands on the chair for me. If you'd like to, you can put your hands on the ground, on the couch, on something else. We're gonna have our feet stepped back just enough that you can feel the stretch in your calves. From here, we'll push up into, if we were down on the ground, a down dog. Really feeling that stretch in your shoulders. Feeling that stretch on the backs of your legs. Breathing, relax your back. And then come back forward into that modified plank. I'm gonna move my hands forward a little bit making this stretch deeper as we push back up, 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 up. Feeling that work, that stretch, that opening in your shoulders. See if you can get your head down in between your biceps without, without bending your neck. Neck is neutral, but your shoulders are stretching. And then back up. And this final time, I'm gonna put my elbows, my forearms down on the chair. Coming up into a dolphin instead of a down dog. Really feeling the different stretch in your triceps. If it's too much, come back up on your hands, no worries. You'll find the right stretch for you wherever that is. This deep triceps stretch down into my arms, down into my shoulders, down into my armpits. 
feels just right. And then back up. Bringing one foot forward, revisiting an even higher high lunge. Just real quick, hands back up on the chair. Feel that stretch again on your calves. Come back out to the plank and then bring the other foot in for a little bit of that high lunge again. Awesome job. Bring your foot about halfway out and the other foot to meet it. Here in that forward fold position again, feet together, back is straight, hips pushed back. See if you can straighten your knees without locking them. Can you come down even a little deeper than we did before? Feeling a little more flexible than we were before. Standing up. Just straight, not leaning back. Now I'm going to turn to the side of the chair and we're going to come down into what is the toughest position for me, the half moon. I'm going to have my hand on the chair. This starts off as basically star balance where we tip gently to the side, hand and leg up and out. For me, my hand on the chair, one hand reaching up toward the ceiling, one leg reaching straight out to the side. If you have more flexibility and more balance, you could get your hand even lower down to the ground. That's okay too. This is as far as I can go. Feeling the work in your legs, feeling that work in your glutes, but the opening up of your chest. What a nice stretch in your chest and shoulders and inner thighs. And then we stand back. Now, once again, I'm going to do two on this side before I move the chair. You're welcome to go back and forth if that feels good to you. Nice deep breath. We come down into that half moon. Find your balance. Find what works. Feel the work more than the stretch this second time. My leg feels a little shaky. And then up we come. Find your balance. Nice and gentle. Great job. Take a nice deep breath. I'm going to move my chair. I'm going to do that half moon on the other side. Figure out exactly how far away that chair is. And up and over we go. Gently, easily, not fast. Neck is neutral, find your balance. Hand is up, leg is out, as straight as you can make it. Core is always working. Even with your hand on a chair, your core is doing a lot of work right here, my friends. It's the hidden gem of any kind of yoga, even stretching yoga. We are working our core. Let's stand it up. Find your balance. Stand up gently. We're controlling that motion. Awesome job. Deep breath here, and then we're going to do this one more time. And over we go. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Find that balance of work and stretch and comfort and right at the edge of your comfort zone. Excellent, excellent job. And up we come, nice and controlled. The chair is still there if you need it. And I have one 
final deep, deep stretch for our hips. We're gonna come down into a garland pose. I'm gonna turn and face the chair so that I can come down nice and deep into it. Feet wider than hip width apart. For me, I'm gonna grab onto the chair as I'm coming down, down, down in this squat. Your goal is to sit down as low as you can with your elbows between your knees. <sighs> Relax down into it. See how close you can get your hips down to your heels. <sighs> we're not gonna stay here long and we're just doing this the one time. So breathing into it, feeling the work, feeling the stretch, the balance, the strength. It's all in you. It's all in all of us. My friend, grab the chair if you'd like to and come on up. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I do have, I do have a little bit more yoga if you'd like it here on screen. I also have the letter P, which is an invitation to go over to Patreon where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you for that. On the other side of the screen is a picture of me. That's a subscribe button. Make sure you click that and I'll see you in the next video.